Britney Spears is celebrating her release from her conservatorship, the hashtag free Britney campaign by tweeting out a fully nude photo of herself, or I suppose posting it to Instagram. The caption reads, quote, free woman energy has never felt better. And I'm beginning to think maybe this free Britney campaign was not such a great idea after all. 12 year old Michael, I'm sure is furious right now with 31 year old Michael for complaining about a naked photo of Britney Spears. That's probably, that's probably true, but I have to complain about it because this is not a great idea. It it actually does undermine the free Britney argument because this is pretty strange, wacky, self-destructive behavior. Now, Britney Spears is a pop star and pop stars do these sorts of things. So it's not completely out of the ordinary. But the purpose of a conservatorship is to put some constraints on people's autonomy and individual choices because they are not capable of handling their freedom, right? Maybe it's because you've got some mental problem. Maybe it's because you've got a drug problem. But the idea behind a conservatorship is not to take away your freedom, but actually to protect your freedom from your own basest desires and your own basest inclinations, which will destroy your freedom. It gets down to this argument that we're having on the right right now about what freedom really is. And the libertarians are saying that, I'm painting with something of a broad brush, but generally the libertarians are saying freedom is the ability to do whatever you want whenever you want to do it. If I want to do drugs and and sleep around and have all sorts of self-destructive behaviors, that's my freedom. And the conservatives are saying, no, freedom isn't the ability to just do whatever you want whenever you want to do it. Freedom is the right to do what you ought to do. So for the libertarian point of view, the modern liberal point of view, freedom is the heroin addict shooting up heroin. But the conservative knows that the heroin addict is not free. He's actually a slave to his own basis desires. If, if a society treats its freedom as an excuse to just get naked and dance around and do a bunch of drugs and sleep around and abuse liberty to licentiousness in the words of our founding fathers, then we're not going to stay free for very long. That, that kind of people is not capable of freedom. And so some guardrails are going to have to be put on their individual choice. And that's what you're seeing happen in your government. I don't really care that much about the Britney Spears story in and of itself, but I care about the political significance of it. What we have done as a people in recent decades is strip naked and post a bunch of pictures of ourselves on Instagram. Literally in many cases, but figuratively as well. We have abused our freedom to licentiousness. We have proven ourselves incapable of freedom in many instances. We can't even really conduct elections anymore. No one trusts the result of our national elections anymore. Democrats didn't trust 2016. Republicans don't trust 2020. Democrats don't trust 2000. We can't, we've torched our cities over the past year and by we, I mean leftists, have torched the cities over the past year. We don't, we're, we don't, we can't defend our national borders. We can't educate ourselves. We can't, we're not. And so what's going to happen inevitably is someone is going to impose order from without. If we are not capable of freedom, then someone else is going to impose order from a- outside. That's the way it goes here. I'm so glad you like that clip. If you want to get the whole show, then you got to subscribe. Ring the bell, get the notifications, head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcasts, type in The Michael Knowles Show. Subscribe, maybe leave a five-star review. We'll see you next time.